So now I'm going to be showing you how to create custom armor in M Crater. A little bit later, as we move on with the course, we'll cover some more complex and advanced sentiments around this topic. So I might even show you how to create three dimensional armor using custom 3D models. So we will have a section towards the end of the course, how to make 3D models. I will be showing you an example to create them for mobs, but I might also try and do a video that covers creating custom 3D armor too. So for now, we're going to be showing the basic armor, how to create basic armor and how all the settings and properties work and later when you learn how to model you can use those fundamental skills to create custom three-dimensional armor which looks a lot more cooler and complex there's a few ways we can create armor in mcreator now i'm going to show you the manual way plus in the top left and we want to press armor now i'm going to make an armor and we're just going to call it sandstone armor i'm going to make armor out of sandstone because it's already a vanilla block in game so i don't need to make any custom blocks or items before i make the armor to show you it okay if you're creating an armor based on custom items or custom blocks blocks then you need to make them first before we move on now you'll also need to make a recipe for armor so people can actually craft it and you'll need to make a recipe for a lot of blocks and items in your mod so later when we get onto the recipe section of the course then you'll need to add recipes after you learn how to do them for each armor piece so a recipe for the helmet chest legs and boots etc as you can see now we have sandstone armor and in the visual tab this is going to be what the item looks like in the player's inventory so you can see the in-game helmet name and body name name leggings name boots name this is what they'll appear as in game so like in the creative tab in the inventory i don't want the word armor to be in all of my items names i just want it to be called sandstone helmet so i'm going to remove that word sandstone body sandstone leggings under these settings where it says advanced settings this is where you would add a custom 3d model so when you learn later how to do that this will be how you do it so i'm just going to quickly explain it but for people who want to make a basic armor set right now that just uses a custom texture you can skip forward and you don't need to do this but if you're using a custom model after you upload your model to mcreator it would show up here right now it says default because we haven't uploaded a custom 3d java model but it would show up here when you upload it into your workspace and then also you'd use the armor texture so from armor means the armor texture we're going to use the item model is going to be the model of the item so you would have it in normal by default and the special information is the special info that is actually on the item so this is for you guys who don't want to use 3d models if you wanted your helmet to have some extra information in the inventory you would type it in here just like what we did with a block in the first tutorial of this course so i type in helmet made of sand ancient artifact for an example and is the item immune to fire you can click that there if you want it to be able to be thrown into lava and not actually disappear for an example so these are some custom properties we can actually do in here as well which you need to know about so now that i've selected that you can also click to collapse to kind of remove that menu now when we click on these little boxes here as you can see nothing shows up okay but these are going to be the graphics for the helmet the body the leggings and the boots in the inventory which is going to be different to the actual texture of the armor set so i'm going to show you now how to create these so click on your workspace tab in the top left to temporarily kind of go off this section we will come back to it and now we're going to go into the resources tab on the left and press create new texture press create armor texture and this is how we're going to create our armor texture now you can do this manually if you want to create your own texture outside of mcreator or if you want to use the graphic editor which i showed you in the first lesson to do it manually but this is the easiest and quickest way you can use three different templates and it shows you a preview at the bottom so we can use chainmail which i don't want to use leather i also don't want to use because it doesn't look like stone and standard which i can probably make look like sandstone so this would be for like things like metal armor or rock armors so under texture color i'm going to select something which kind of vaguely looks like a tan color like sandstone lock saturation and lightness you can untick this and tick it based on your preference i'm going to tick it because it looks more detailed but you might have to actually play around with the shades of the colors to actually make it look how you want it to look and now what i'm going to do is press save this armor and the name of the armor texture is just going to be sandstone armor just so i remember what it is press ok and now when we go back on our sandstone armor tab and click on armor helmet now we have some textures to choose because we just generated them so i'm going to select the helmet and i'm going to select the body the leggings and also the boots so now we have an item which is going to show up for each piece in the inventory so we can move on to the property section and this is where we'll actually select the properties now for the armor layer texture we've also created that by generating it too so we're going to select the armor texture and as you can see it's selected it and previewing it and the preview looks correct the creative inventory tab is where you're going to put it by default you might want to put it in the combat tab like the other vanilla armors or you might want to put it in our custom creative tab we created in the last lesson the armor equip sound is if you want a sound to be played when players wear the armor so i could type in a 
anvil for an example anvil hit could be the custom armor sound that plays when i equip it now maximal damage is basically the absorption for your armor so this defines the armor durability and it's applied in the following format now it also shows you some vanilla examples my armor is sandstone so i don't really think it would be stronger than gold for an example so i'm going to use the gold value of seven you can use these just to kind of get a ballpark idea of what similar material based armors in the game have for their damage absorption so i'm going to press seven over here then damage values is basically how well the damage to the player will be reduced by wearing this armor so i'm just going to half all of these the defaults you can select whatever you want then the enchantability is the enchantability of your armor now i'm going to put the enchantability as the same as iron armor i don't really want it to be that enchantable it's just made out of stone in fact i could press zero if i don't want it to be enchanted at all toughness is the toughness of the armor so basically increases the protection of the armor now diamond has a value of two the default zero so i'm going to type in 0.5 because that's kind of like in the center of a basic armor then knockback resistance just to kind of give you a clue the knockback resistance of armor is usually typically quite low as you can see netherite the strongest armor in the game only has a knockback resistance of 0.1 so i wouldn't even bother adding knockback resistance unless you're making a really strong or custom armor set or if you want to have like a super overpowered armor set that like allows ravagers or golems to hit you without any kind of knockback you can create that doing this method repair items is what items are going to be used in the anvil to repair your armor so for me it would be sandstone because i'm creating a sandstone armor so i'm going to do sandstone i could also do chisel sandstone which kind of would be pretty cool but i'm just going to select sandstone or i could just basically press control and then hold shift and then click the last sandstone block that i can see use selected item and then now any of these sandstone blocks will repair my armor in the anvil onto triggers on the next next selection this is how you would add triggers or procedures to your armor so basically where it says helmet tick event if you add a procedure here this would mean you could add something to your armor when the player wears it so for an example i could add a potion effect like super speed or something like that where when someone equips the helmet it adds speed to them when we explain procedures later you'll understand how to do this so i'm not going to demonstrate how you can do that but this is how you would do that here so just press save mod element now and i'm also going to close this armor texture maker and go down to the mod elements tab so we're kind of back in our normal workspace and we're going to let the mod to compile in the bottom right and when it says grade or idle that means it's compiled and let's go test our arm in the game so now we're in game and as you can see if we go across and go to ancient civilizations we now have our armor set in here now you can see the helmet made of sand ancient artifact custom sentences we added to the helmet are there but they're not there for the other pieces because we only added that to the helmet so you can see the stats of our armor here to kind of gauge what the properties are that you typed in and then you can kind of change them based on your own liking so now we can go ahead and we can add these to our inventory and now we can right click the armor and it should play the sound that you selected if you selected custom sound i selected the anvil hit as my equip sound and now we have our custom armor and everything should be functioning correctly okay so we could go ahead and we could test it and attack some slimes and see just how much protection it gives us which is not actually that much at all we're actually getting wrecked by this slime and he killed us pretty quickly with sandstone gear so it kind of just tells you how powerful that is. So that's how to create a custom armor with M Creator. It's basically as simple as that. If you want to make more advanced armor, then you can utilize the skills and fundamentals of procedures a little bit later when you learn that. And also custom 3D models if you want to make more advanced and more visually pleasing armor, which you can also do later.